What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Brandy and in today's video we're doing a home decor haul. I have picked up some stuff from William Sonoma, Crate and Barrel, an antique shop. I got some stuff to share with you guys. Before we get started, I just have to say we hit 10,000 subscribers, you guys, and I, oh my gosh, just thank you guys. I'm at a loss for words. I am so incredibly thankful for each and every single one of you who are here and along the journey who have subscribed, support, give my videos thumbs up. I leave, you guys leave me the most beautiful comments all the time. Thank you, thank you so much. Seriously, I can't even express how thankful I am and I cannot wait to continue to share so much content with you guys. I have so much planned. I know that was long-winded, but just thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you're not already, go follow me on Instagram. I do share some behind the scenes. I'm gonna even start sharing some more by request from you guys. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, you guys, so the first thing that I wanna show you, if you follow me on Instagram, and I think I've mentioned it quite a few times over here, I am like a plant lady. I love my plants. They are my babies. I talk to them every day. They all have names and I love them. So actually, you know what's funny is I used to water them with this little, this little jar right here. This is like a lemonade jar. I used to like fill this up, go water them, come back, fill it up. And I just was like, first of all, when this has water in it, it's like super sketch because it's heavy. But I was like, all right, I'm done with the glass jar. Like I want something cute. I want, I want something cute. So I picked up this watering can from Crate and Barrel. And you guys already know, like I'm super picky with my things. I want everything in my house to be aesthetically pleasing and cute and beautiful. And as many of you guys know, I'm slowly transitioning out all of our like cheap junk crap or stuff that we've just had for a long time that I'm just over and stuff that, anyway, you guys get it. I got this watering can and it is so beautiful. I gotta say it's a little small and to be honest, it wasn't the cheapest item for, and especially for it being so small. However, I would I would buy it again. I freaking love this. It makes me so happy when I'm watering my plants with my cute gold watering can. It's just like rainbows and butterflies over here when I'm like, okay, you get a sip and you get a sip and you get a sip. But anyway, I love it. I think it adds like a modern touch and it's beautiful. I, like I said, it's a little small and it was a little expensive for me, but I would buy it again. Okay, so the next two items, I think I mentioned in another video, but I don't think I really shared them with you guys, but they are these mini spatulas from William Sonoma. I cannot believe how much I've been reaching for these. So when I come to the end of like my peanut butter or almond butter, I will scrape it out. When I make my protein pancakes or pancakes that, you know, I have like a little mini pancake. No, it's a waffle. It's a waffle maker. I have a mini waffle maker. And when I make them, I scrape out every last little bit. But something about having these little mini spatulas make little things like that awesome because sometimes those big spatulas, you can't get them into the jar or into the space or they're just too big. So these I freaking love. I'm, I'm slowly transitioning my other spatulas to all of these. There are larger versions of these and I am going to purchase those and just make everything kind of cohesive and match. But I, 10 out of 10, recommend these. They, you'd be surprised at how much you use these. So, love these and I mean, come on, they're so cute. A while ago, I did a shop with me and I went to an antique store and I kept, couldn't stop thinking about these little wooden risers. It's like the primitive wood risers and I love it. I think I have so many ideas for this little board. I think I could do like a charcuterie board. The antique items, obviously I'm gonna link everything down below for you guys to shop these items, but the antique items, I'm going to link similar items so that you can buy them for your own home. Of course they're antique, so they're one of a kind. It's not gonna be the exact same, but I will link a lot of them down there for you guys. But 
I thought I could do a charcuterie board. I can do, I could put like my drinking glasses and organize my cupboard with this. I can put my cookbooks on top of this. I could do so many different things with this. Just like my dough bowl, if you guys didn't watch the different ways that I styled that, I will also link that video. It's a really good one, highly recommend. But I just couldn't stop thinking about this little primitive board and I cannot wait to start using it. It's absolutely stunning. And um, yeah, I'm really excited about it. Now you guys know, okay, you guys know that I'm trying to transition or at least get a little bit more modern in here because I have a lot of antique, primitive wood items, very earthy in here. And I really wanna start getting more like modern pieces to tone that down a little bit but I can't help myself every time I go to the antique store. And here's the thing about the antique store too. When you see something, you get it. Because especially if you've been dreaming about it, because these are one of a kind pieces and you don't want to miss your opportunity. So the next piece that I got, I actually saw this piece a few months ago. Um, quite a few months ago, maybe even like a year ago, my sister and I went to this like design, like specialty design shop and I passed it up and I don't even know why, but I went back there and I have a little bit of shop with me footage that's gonna be going out next week, but I went back there and they still had it. And it's this little like scoop, like little, I don't even know, like spoon, I'm not sure. But my vision for this, I actually got this for Zach. And if you guys don't know, if on Instagram you guys do know, but Zach is like the chef of our house. He does all the cooking, he's incredible. And I thought, you know what, this would be so cute for our countertop. I could put his salt in here so he can just, you know, grab it, grab a pinch and do his little salt with his cooking. So I just thought that this was so cute. I had to have it. I will link similar ones below, but I, I'm so happy I didn't pass it up. I almost passed it up again. And I was like, girl, what is wrong with you? Why do you do that? So I love this little piece. I think it's so beautiful and I can't wait to start using it right after this video is over. In fact, you guys will probably see a little slide over this where I am filling this up with salt because I washed it last night and got it ready and can't wait to put salt in this. I know it sounds ridiculous, but you guys get it. My, my design fam out there, you get it. Okay, so the next item is this cream fleece blanket. Now, this one is very, very basic, but it's, I just thought I wanted a couple more blankets for our couch. So when we're watching movies or just sitting there or guests are over, I can just throw a blanket out there. I don't have to like worry about it too much. And it's basic, nothing with, fur or prints or, you know, sometimes you just want a nice basic blanket. So this blanket was sent to me. However, you can get it off of Amazon. It's just this basic cream blanket, but it is so incredibly soft, so beautiful. I love it. Like when you're just on the couch chilling, it is really, really nice. So I wanted to mention that in this video. Okay, if you guys have been watching some, some of my past videos, I am going to be, everything from this point on, I've already shared in some previous videos, so I wanted to give you guys a heads up so you're not like, girl, why are you mentioning that again? The reason why is because I these items are just that good and I wanted to share them in this video as well, especially if you guys are only here for hauls, I wanted to mention that. So the first thing I wanna mention are these William Sonoma drinking glasses. Zach and I, actually, you know what? I'm gonna show you. So we have these drinking glasses and they are like, seriously like a brick. Like they are heavy. We never use them, ever. We never use them. So I wanted to pick up some drinking glasses that we can actually use and that were a little bit more modern and I didn't have to think about it too much. So we picked up these William Sonoma glasses and let me tell you, Zach and I, I mentioned this in another video, but we have a thing about the lip of glasses. They just have to have a good lip. Sometimes you like go to drink or it's too thick or you know, whatever, but these are amazing. I drink my coffee out of these. 
I, we drink everything. And here's the other thing, Zach loves them, which Zach is insanely picky. So I knew that I won when I got these and he is drinking everything out of them. So I got six of the large and then I got six of the small. While we're on the topic of glasses, I wanted to mention these margarita glasses again. I don't know what it is about having certain drinks out of certain glasses, but I swear it makes them taste better. And that's exactly what I think about these margarita glasses. Our margaritas taste better in these. I know it's weird, but I also really like that they're thick because I get a nice thick rim of my chili lime salt. If you guys miss my jalapeno margarita recipe, I will link that down below because it is bomb. But I just think these are so pretty. Very basic, but I like that. I want timeless pieces in my home. So I don't wanna buy glasses that I, I'm gonna wanna replace later on. Like I wanna have these for a very, very, very long time. So I did only get two because that's all they had in the store, but I am placing an order to get a few more of these so that when our friends come over, we have enough for everyone to have a margarita out of. And I don't know, I just love them. And I think they're so beautiful. The lip is good. They are thicker, which normally I don't like but I do for a margarita because you can get that nice thick salt rim. Next two items that I'm gonna mention is a coffee table book and a cookbook. So I got this Live Beautiful coffee table book and I love this book so much. It has the most beautiful images. So my style, so inspiring. I freaking love this book. I'm actually always reaching for this book just to kind of you know go through and see like, what are designers doing? Like, what am I noticing? You guys already know. I love this book. I mentioned it in another video. And then the other book is this coffee. It's not a coffee book. It is a cookbook. And again, I just really love, I'm very picky with the coffee table books that I get and even cookbooks. Like, am I even gonna like this food? Whatever, you know, I really like to, do my research before I buy, and I freaking love this. Not to mention, it is incredibly aesthetically pleasing. Okay, and then the last item I'm gonna mention today is my David. So David is so beautiful. I, again, shared him in another video, but I had to share him here because I recently got him at Home Goods, and I just wanted to mention him again just in case any of you guys wanna run out to your Home Goods because Chances are if my home goods has it, yours will have it or will get it. So I had to mention him again, just so you guys didn't miss him. These things are so incredibly expensive, but he was super, super affordable. $30, $30, so affordable. All right, you guys, and those are the items that I've recently purchased. I have been purchasing these items over the past like month or two months. However, I still wanted to share them with you guys. Most of them you can still get if not all of them, maybe David is questionable. But I wanted to share these with you guys because I know a lot of you are transitioning your homes as well, getting rid of old stuff that you're not into anymore and kind of going for more of that timeless look. So I wanted to share these items with you and that's it, that's all I got. So I will see you guys in a couple of days with another video, bye.